Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Tisha and today we're going to do our favorites for the month of February. So this is February favorites, fails, and eh, just okay products. I always like to come back. It has a really good way for me to kind of do after my first impressions or my hauls. I can kind of talk about the products I've been using. Do I love them? Do I dislike them 100% or are they just okay? That might mean they're just not meant for me or they were impulse buy that I regret. I mean, we just kind of chat about it in the comments. And so as always, let me know down below what you've been loving for the month of February. I always share my word of the month and this month it has been declutter and I am working on a pretty savage, really big declutter. Um, as I've been sharing my collection, I've been pulling things out that I'm either going to put in a project, use it up, going to give to friends and family, Maybe some brand new stuff that I regret not taking back to store, so I may sell on Macari. Um, just things like that, because again, I would rather these things get used, and maybe I'll lose a little bit of money. But in the long run, it's so much better to not have anything overwhelming and have everything in my drawers and my racks, things I'm loving. So that's really important to me. Let me know down below. Have you been doing any declutters? Are you still doing good on your no buy, low buy? Um, and are we using those products in the project is up? Because I think by next week, I'm going to be ready to roll out the spring edition. Um, maybe, you know, right around that first end of the first week of March. So keep working on those products, you guys, because we're going to feel so good to use up some of our stuff, especially when the next SAS sale comes around. So let's jump into, um, a couple of fails for me. Um, the first one is going to be actually the first item I don't have. It is the Pear Creme Brulee Body Cream. After I did my ranking video and I realized how much I had to force myself to use that body care. And I think that's some of your favorite scent. And I get it. I think it's body chemistry for me. I think the scent notes smell good when I sprayed it in the cap. I sprayed it on a tester in store. But on me, I just get like kind of like a you spilled some food on you. What is that type of scent? And the only thing that lingers is the pear. And I need that like pear praline scent um there's a couple other scents that have pear in it that i do enjoy but that one for me i just did not do it so i went ahead and exchanged that but for me that was a fail because i didn't think it smelled bad or like some people described it so well like just kayla michelle um but it just kind of was just not a good scent for me and i think it was all body chemistry so if that was your favorite well, that's good because, you know, there's lots at the store for you. So um, I think the candle is good. I like it in the single wick, and I think that they should probably make that in a three wick soon. But I think that's where I'd like that to stay. That kind of scent needs to stay in a candle. I mean, I kind of feel the same way about, like, berry waffle cone. I loved it in this when I sprayed it on the strip, when I sprayed it in the cap. But on me, it's not a love. So that was an unfortunately a fail for me and the other fail was this impulse buy i was shopping at walmart and i was just looking through those aisles because our walmart never has the new stuff but i saw this cute little juice box and it was eau de juice pure sugar and then all it says is sweeter than anything so i didn't want to spray it in store because walmart's not like bath and body works where it has like open available testers but i think it was like seven dollars but this does not smell good it doesn't even smell sweet. It kind of just smells like alcohol. I mean, I'm going to use it because I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to return it, but I have to layer this with a bunch of stuff because I don't enjoy this scent on its own, but it's not a bad scent. It just doesn't, it's not sweet enough for it to be called like pure sugar. Definitely not. So this was kind of a fail for me. I thought the bottle was cute. I think that's why I picked it up because it looked like a little juice box. And I was like, oh, something I haven't seen. I'll get to try it and not really buy it for a review by any means, but just like something new to try. So that is kind of a fail, but again, I'm just going to keep it because Bath and Body Works and Walmart are different places. Yes, you can return to Walmart too, but I don't have the receipt. <clears throat> I don't want to deal with it. So I'm just going to use it sparingly, but um, yeah, don't recommend. Do not recommend too well. Okay. So then I have a just okay product and it's hard for me to put these in because these do have a lot of, of, like a, a, a pretty positive following, but I'm going to say that these are just okay for me. These are the mainstay single wicks and I have tried two, two scoops, please. And lemonade stand. Now these were your typical single wick. They burnt really well. They burnt down really clean, but I really like the scent on cold and it didn't throw for me really. And I don't expect a lot out of single wicks. I put these in very small spaces, but I really had to be 
kind of right up on the candle and it was still kind of more a wax burning than a scent burning. So, but then you put it out and it smells amazing. So this one is really good. Lemon, marshmallow, vanilla, and two scoops, please. And then I also did lemonade stand, which is lemon, lime, and sugar cane. They're strong on, th on the cold scent. But when you go to burn them, they're just like your typical low throwing single wick. So if you don't have high expectations for these or you don't mind burning multiple, um, these are fine for a small space, but they were not going to throw even in a small space. So I think these are just okay. I have a few more. They're a really good price point at $3.22. I mean, we picked those up at Sass, right? But I just always want to be able to smell my candle. Sorry about that. I had a train. I tell you, this little town gets so busy on the weekends. It's not even barely a town. Okay, so next is my favorite part of this video. I always like to share a creator that I have been personally watching and loving um, this month. I've loved this creator for a lot longer and I'm actually kind of sorry that I didn't include her in the channels that I think you all should love because I really do enjoy her content. She shares a lot about fragrance and candles. She reviews them. She is really honest about them and I appreciate that because she tells you why for her, even if it's a popular candle, she's either going to return it or exchange it um, and she's just really honest about it and I really, really appreciate it. So her name is adamantly adrian and i'm gonna pop up a picture here um and i really think she's funny i think she does a lot of creative videos she did a video called youtube made me buy it because she also like most of us here that make videos watch a lot of people um and she was saying that like certain candles she picked up for certain content creators and if she loved them or hated them and she actually included me in that video so thank you adrian i appreciate that so much but um because i hardly consider myself a reviewer um, I'm just an enthusiast -er over here loving talking about candles and, of course, body care, too. So go check her out if you haven't. She's so funny. She's really relatable, too, and she's just super honest and thorough with her reviews. She does a lot of candle reviews, and she does a lot with perfume and fragrance. So um, if those interest you, that's a channel you should definitely check out. So, okay, now this is my... 10 to 1, meaning these are all the things I've been using a lot in February, and this is kind of where they fall. And I don't know if any of these will shock you, but let's just jump in. So number 10 is going to go to Bubbly Rosé. I have been still enjoying this quite a bit from my ranking video. Um, this has notes of pink sparkling rosé, sweet blood orange, and splash of cranberry. I know a lot of people get mostly cranberry from this, but I do pick up all three notes. Um, this is just a more intense version of champagne toast meaning like i think every note comes out a little bit stronger so if champagne toast isn't strong enough for you but you like that fruity bubbly scent you would really like bubbly rose um and i have been really enjoying it but i've enjoyed these other things a little bit more okay next is going to be my first candle up and this is one that i reviewed this month springtime in paris this is our 2950 candles i have not burnt this since my review but all my feelings still feel the same. I think this is a one and done for me. However, it is incredibly strong. It's a really good thrower and it's super nice in the fresh category, like fresh floral. The notes are soft peach, lotus blossom, and fresh bergamot, and it is so fresh. But while I'm burning it, I'm still gonna stand by that I get like an apple shampoo vibe from like the 90s, um, but it's still really, really pretty. Um, I thought I would need more when I first started burning this, but I think this will be one I can enjoy and little spurts. Um, I did hear from a couple can reviewers that at the middle way point, it gets a little murky and gross, but I am obviously not there yet because again, this is one I can burn for just a little bit of time and it fills my entire space, which a lot of us love those powerhouse candles. So this one is for you, um, but it is super fresh. I love that watery lotus like floral scent in here. Um, again, never said I was great at describing candles, but I think this one is a nice one and it looks so pretty on these candle stands. I'm going to show you this one. Um, so here is that. Doesn't that look pretty? Like th this candle collection really, um, let me move back a little bit, like nailed it with the colors, the aesthetic. Like I said, those lids are super cute and we got these on sale, right? We did not pay the $29.50 price point, but I did like this candle quite a bit and it was in my ranking video and again I did a current burn review so I can link it if you haven't seen it but um, <clears throat> this is a surprise for me and again you have to kind of know your scent profile 
I like fruity powerhouse, like juicy scents. So for me to even like this a little bit, I'm really dipping a toe over into this type of candle. I normally would have just strayed away from this before, but I want to make sure I'm a well-rounded reviewer. So I did want to try it and I did not dislike it. It wasn't overly floral. It wasn't too powdery. It didn't like choke me out, but it's strong. So you have to really like those scent notes in the profile. So that is number nine. Number 10 is going to go to another body care scent. And again, we got some of these early <clears throat> um, in January. And so I have been really using these. Um, I'm just, I'm also really focused on my project use up. So there isn't like a huge dent, but you can see I've really been trying to use this. This is Peach Prosecco Macaron, and this is Peach Prosecco Vanilla Cream and Macaron Cookie. This was my favorite from the Champagne Brunch Collection. I don't think it was everyone's, but I really liked the vanilla peach creaminess. Very little bit of cookie, and then the Prosecco just kind of made it like fun. So I like this scent a lot. I'm definitely going to see myself using this, but I am going to use this before... I'm hoping sass so that I can pick up a backup, but I right now I'm not backing up anything until I use it because if I miss out, I miss out, but I don't need to get too many backups. So that's my thoughts on Peach Prosecco Macaron. If you like creamy peach or creamy vanilla peach, I think you would really like this one if you haven't picked it up already, but that was kind of my ranking from the Champagne Branch Collection. Okay, what else? Oh. I did want to share that I've been really loving these holders that I picked up. I don't normally keep bringing these back to review, but I want to talk about this a little bit more. This is really sturdy. This comes in at the $39.95 price point, but I got this with um, like a 20% off and I had like overage from an exchange. I don't really know how that happened. I'm not sure if it was supposed to, but I ended up paying about $21 for this. So I really feel like it was worth it for that. But if you got the coupon, you would probably pay closer to 30, I think, which I still think is pretty good. This is very sturdy. Watch me drop it while I talk about it. I love the gold detail on those white flowers and it looks so beautiful with a candle. Again, I already did this, but I'll show you again. This is really nice. I have this set up in my room. I just took it down so I could share it with you guys again. And I really think that I'm, I'm going to stick at the $39.95 or lower price point. So I'm going to have to miss out on a lot of those pedestals and things. I don't think I need them. I loved having them for Christmas. I missed out on a lot of the ones for Halloween. I think I got one. But I think for me, this is my price point. Like $39.95 with a coupon, I'm okay with. Even if they're a little bit smaller and they're not flashy, this is plenty for me to decorate my candles. So I really did want to bring this back because again, we all were excited about it. Now we're moving on to pineapples and flamingos, which are cute. Don't get me wrong. They're cute. But in my heart, I just cannot pay $79.95 for a candle stand holder. And if you can, there's no shame in that. I'm not saying that. It's just, this is perfect for me. So I definitely wanted to talk about it again because they're still in the store and it still hasn't even actually hit spring yet. So we can still use our spring things. I wanted to include these as well. So number eight is just my spring candle holders. This is the butterfly one. Um, I'm just about to put this out because I'm putting all my Valentine's things away, but I wanted to show you guys this one with a candle because I think it's also helpful to see like how the candle sits in there. So here's springtime in Paris. Again, just a really pretty pastel colored jar. I do like solid colored jars in these because I like, it kind of helps to, um, give a background to the decoration in the candle holder. And I like these ones with the cutouts because I think they're so much easier to take the lid off with when the lid meets the top um, of some of the other candle holders. It can be a little tricky to put on and off. So I think that looks so beautiful. This one is $24.95 and I picked these all up with a coupon. So I always recommend doing that. I mean, of course we can use our coupons on whatever we want, but if I have something in mind that I like in the decor, like wall plugs too, I will kind of get a couple and use one coupon. And again, that's when I'm making a bigger purchase, but then I at least get 20% off because these things don't really go on sale until SAS. So keep that in mind, but I just think this is beautiful. You guys know I love butterflies and I picked up quite a few pieces of butterfly. And then again, this one is $12.95, but I think it's going to pair so cute with these other candle holders for the rest of spring. So I'm using these things through May and then maybe hopefully I've picked up some summer pieces, but I love these. And again, with the cutouts, I didn't grab a single wick. I'm sorry, but 
it makes it very easy to apply the lid or take the lid off. So I like that because if they're just flush, then I'm like, have to dip the candle out and I just don't want to scratch these and dent these. They're still pricey. So this one matches that other candle holder. And I did want to share that with you guys one more time because they're made really well. I do have to say that. Um, I mean, most of <clears throat> Bath & Body Works products are made pretty well. Sometimes they don't ship so well. But these are sturdy and they definitely can hold the weight of the candle. Okay, so more body care that I'm loving. And this is newer to me. Um, I've been going through the cream because I've been mixing it with some other fresh scents that I have just to try to do some blends. But this is fresh coconut and cotton. Um, I always like to grab the fine fragrance mints because I know the notes are right there. This is coconut, coastal breeze, and beachside cotton. This scent, I think, is another we love it or we hate it. And I love it. I remember when I sprayed this in store, I thought I was going to love white t-shirt and leave this one behind. But I actually prefer this one over white t-shirt quite a bit. It has a sweetness to it that just, it makes it more than just a clean scent to me. But there's a nice little sweetness to this. And I think it could be a little mix of all three notes. I don't think it's one or the other. The coconut could be sweet. The coastal breeze could be, you know, sweet, salty, I guess. But, you know, leaning towards making this a nice fresh fragrance. And then that beach side cotton could be sweet. So I really like this one. And if I'm being honest, I like it a little bit better than my t-shirt. Um, so I just wanted to throw that out there. If you guys haven't had a chance to try it, sorry about the light. It's so bright in here today. I just don't know what else to do besides film at like 10 o'clock at night. So there's that one. And I really like this, um, but you can layer this. So if you don't want to get all the pieces, you can layer this with beach side blanket. You can do, or beach front blanket, sorry. Um, you could even do, you know, Magnolia Charm. You know, you can get a piece of each white t-shirt and this one. If you love to get collections, then you do you. But that's something that I've been keeping in mind. I don't need to get the shower gel, the body wash, the body lotion, shower gel and the body wash, the same thing. But you know what I mean? I can just pick up a piece of it so that I get to try it and I can mix it with other things. So I really have been paying a lot more attention to the scent notes to think about what do I already have so that I can put it with that. All right, so let's keep it moving. Okay, so the next item up is my Native Body Washes. Now, I did pick up three. This one I've used a few times. This is the Mint Cookie Cupcake. I only picked up two from the Baked by Melissa line, and these are actually my first Native products. Um, I do think it is a nice body wash. It doesn't lather up as much to me as the body washes from um, Bath & Body Works, but this scent is quite a bit stronger. And again, I've chosen three scents that are pretty strong. Well, I chose Candy Cane, which is really strong in the shower. This mint um, cookie cupcake is pretty strong. The tie-dye cupcake is just your buttercream gourmand scent. Um, but so they're very nice and strong. And they lay, they they stay on the skin for a little bit. Um, <clears throat> and I've been putting like hot cocoa and cream with this. Um, I can even do like fireside flurries a little bit and it's just really kind of like a nice little mint lavender marshmallow situation but I do have to say the scent is amazing the lather is not bad at all I'm just saying I was surprised it was kind of lower on the lather side and I just like the shower to be like so hot it's burning my skin and then I just like lather up and I feel so clean so it's these are good um, I think I'm definitely going to continue to purchase them when they come out with a scent that I like this smells just like a Girl Scout cookie you guys like to a tea. I'm not really getting any cupcake. It's just sweet, but it's definitely got that mint cookie, like Girl Scout cookie vibe. So I think this is pretty unique to my collection. So I'm definitely not running through it. I just wanted to test it before I said it was a favorite, but I actually like all of them. All the scents are really, really good that I've tried so far. So if you have any recommendations, let me know because I'm not shopping right now, but if it's something that they have around all the time, I could try it later. So I really do like that a lot. Next is a perfume I picked up from Akari, and for one, it's on the list because look how cute it is. It's so cute. It almost like matches my eye look today. Not even on purpose. We didn't even call each other, but this is the Scandalous by Victoria's Secret. It's got a little poof here, so you have to, like, I almost broke it when I got it because, again, I'm new to Victoria's Secret world, and I was like, how do I open this? So I was like pulling, and I'm going to be more gentle with her, but you basically open it up. 
Let me see, like that. And then you can poof the, poof, you can squeeze this here to spritz the perfume. So you kind of have to have it like on a little shelf or something so that you can like just put your wrist out because again, it's just coming out there. But then of course you can just like put it all over. But more than just the aesthetically pleasing bottle, which I really think is cute. This perfume came out a couple years ago. I did pick it up on Macari for like $20 and I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, this has notes of praline and it's so good. I love praline in body care, perfume. It just deepens the scent. It's sweet. It's a sweet, nutty scent. Um, but I love this perfume so much. And it's got another like fruity note. But I've been wearing it, even though it's not like showing you a ton. But you can see I'm moving it down a little bit. But um, I think the bottle's cute. It's not as easy to use if it were just a spritz from the top. But again, how cute is that on my dresser? So cute, right? So I love that. I'm not plugging Macari too much, I hope. I'm just saying that, like, I look for deals. Again, I want to state that there are people on there that want $95 for a candle because it's rare or more. Um, there are people that are trying to sell beach nights on there for, like, 100 bucks a bottle. Again, I can't find it anymore. So what is what does our world revolve around? Like, if there's scarcity, then, yes, you can get your price. But I wouldn't pay $100 for any body spray that I want. And if you do, that's cool. I wouldn't pay $100 for a candle that you got on sale, even if I can't get it because I'll get it some other way. But I do really try to find, like, again, I'm going to pay, this was brand new plastic, $23. I would have paid that in store. So, of course, I'm going to pay you. You do have to pay that shipping. And I try to price my items um, affordably, too. Like, even if I'm going to get just what I got out of it, it's not going to waste. I don't um, try to, I don't know. I, I don't want to say anything negative in case that's like people's livelihood, but I just, I have a really hard time with, um, when people are saying, you know, the candle says twenty four fifty on the bottom and they want $95 or $60, you know, they didn't even pay twenty four fifty for it. So again, just asking 25 for it, you know, they're making a profit, but now, you know, again, we push things. You have to fill out like a W-9 to sell on there now because, again, people are turning these things into businesses, which is more like a garage sale, an online garage sale. But now because people are pushing it, like now you have to claim it as income. And I just think those those things are crazy. I don't know where I'm going with that. Again, tangent. But there really are some great sellers on Macari and there are some great deals to be had. And I find it to be a really fun place to shop um, the way that I shop. But um, also I don't, I never shame people for their prices. I'm just saying, sometimes I look at that and I'm like a candle that it, you've had sitting on your shelf for five years, you want three times the price for, of course they're going to get it. So why wouldn't they? But I don't do that on there. So there are people that don't do that on there. Okay. Moving on. So the last of my body care, but my absolute favorite and honestly, if I were going to only pick one thing that's come out so far for spring one, I would have picked up this. Now, I didn't really think this was their Valentine's fragrance, but I'm not putting mine away. As you can see, I've made quite a little dent in this. Again, thinking that I'm using Project Use It Up items. Um, I don't live at home. I mean, I don't work from home, so I'm not home 24-7 spraying these things. But um, I've used all of my different things I picked up because of you guys pushing me to be creative and making all these videos. So thank you guys so much. But Back to this, it's Gingham Love, and this has notes of sugared red berry, blushing freesia, and rose meringue. So good. I'm going to do a quick little teeny tiny little review of this with the other ginghams just to share my thoughts. Um, but this is good. This is pretty. I really kind of wish I would have picked up the perfume because I could see myself wearing that perfume every stinking day. I just love the three notes in here. I didn't know that I would like freesia, and I've, again, I don't think I love it in everything, but I like the way they mix it in here with the sweet berries and then the rose meringue. Makes it a little sweet floral, a little fresh, and a little fruity. I, I just love how they combined all into this one, but I'll share more thoughts in that video coming soon. Um, okay, two more items and they're both candles. So you guys knew this is how it was gonna be. You probably could guess number one if you wanted to because you guys know what I like. But peach, or Prosecco and Peaches is the number two favorite product I tried for February. I did do a current burn review. This is not the candle that I burnt. But, oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. This has notes of bubbly champagne, juicy peach, hint of vanilla. And this is the body care to me, 100%. Very good thrower. You have to like peach, like a vanilla creamy peach, but that bubbly um, champagne really 
gives it projection. I could smell this in my whole open concept space. And it was a nice, fruity, bubbly, drinky fragrance. So I'm definitely going to hold onto this and, you know, let it get a little warmer out because I want to finish some colder candles. But I'm excited to burn it. And I've already started one. I don't know where it is. I truly don't, but I have another one. So that's good. Um, and I really, really recommend this if you like fruity scents, if you like those bubbly scents. So um, this is good, good to me. And the last one is also good, good to me. And it is Champagne Margarita, my absolute favorite candle. Again, if I only had to pick one candle that I got this month, this is the one. I've backed it up and I will continue to back it up because I love everything about it. I love the color. This is a very close close interpretation of Frost and Moscow Mule. Now, I think they're pretty close. I think Frost and Moscow Mule to me seems a little bit stronger, but it's been just sitting there. But this is strong. This is good too. Like it's sweet. It does smell a little bit like soda, but I just get more of like an effervescence. So it's not like sweet, sweet like soda, but a lot of people are comparing it to Sprite. I do think it smells just like the Frost and Moscow Mule candle that came out for Candle Day a couple years ago. Um, <clears throat> it's freshly squeezed lime, bubbly champagne, sugar cane crystals, if I didn't read that already, but this is the strongest candle I've tried so far. That's why it's so far up on my ranking list. Um, by far, by far, it doesn't matter what the other candles have in them. Um, this is a super strong thrower and it smells good. So this one had to win. I'm sorry. It's such a good candle. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Or if there's other candles that I missed, of course, let me know down below. But that is it. That is my favorite, favorite things I tried for the month of February. Um, I appreciate all the love you guys have been giving me. So you all are my favorites too. And if you haven't already, please give, um, give her a check out. Ad adamantly, adamantly, Adrian, sorry, girl. Um, she really does support my channel too. And I appreciate it so much. And I just think you guys will love her. And that's why I do recommend videos and recommend people to go give a try because she does a really good job on her reviews. I really like the way she um, thinks out the, the notes, the throw, everything. So if you love candle reviews, she would be a good channel for you. But that's it. I will see you guys in a video probably tomorrow. Thank you.